Welcome to quick tips number five. How much time have you actually wasted when you're trying to load up a new session and you have the default screen every single time you have to bring in all your sims, you have to route all your stuff, color all your tracks, name all your stuff. And by that time, the inspiration is probably lost. And that really sucks because you're probably on the verge of making a really cool song and you're going to become a millionaire with that song, but yet you didn't make a template. So that's what this video is for. So just take a look at what's kind of going on here. I'll walk through this a little bit in a kind of a brief way. We've got a click here as we talked about in our, one of our quick tips video. And we have a, all our drums here and I have a little FL FPC kind of thing. This is an electronic template that I put together about a year ago. So everything's kind of here. I have a couple instances of serum just ready to go. If I ever want to dial up anything, uh, pigments as well, which is a very great synth. If you haven't checked it out or you haven't used it, Definitely check it out. It's an amazing synth. And then a couple um, instances of citrus as well. So this is kind of just to get started with. So I have a drums. I have some uh, some serum stuff and some pigments and all that. And I can make up a bass, a pluck, whatever whatever I feel like in the mood. And then here on the right, I have some effects docked here. So I have uh, a 2.0 delay, a 4.0 delay, two different types of reverb. I have the regular fruity reverb here. And then I have the uh, Valhalla Vintage Verb, which is one of my favorite reverbs that I always use every single time. It's a very good price point. If you want to check it out, you should. It's a very, very excellent, excellent reverb with a lot of different modes, different gears, really cool presets if you want to change with that. And the interface is actually pretty easy to read and understand. So that's really cool. And then also the uh, distortion here with uh, overdrive times 100 and a little bit of an EQ to taper off that high end. So it would take me a long time to put this all together and... I don't know, maybe, maybe I would lose the inspiration. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I also have my drum reverb there just in case I want to send these cool dubstep to a whole bunch of reverb, which I might do, I might not. Who knows? But the point of this video is to make your templates and let once you invest some time, make your session how you normally would start it off and then save it and save it somewhere else and don't overwrite it. You could put it into the, uh, the startup file, but I would recommend against that because sometimes it takes forever to load up and sometimes you're not always going to be writing a song. So... Use templates.